after I got back home, I was just excited to share like all the stories. So right now it's just like excitement and getting to tell people my story and how it was. So that's mainly what I've been doing currently. Yeah, um, I'm a little sad that it's over. I kind of wanted maybe like a couple more days there. I kind of wanted, um, but I know like everything I took from it was very, it's gonna be helpful in the long run. And I think that right now I have to like see how I'm gonna incorporate that into my life right now. And I haven't figured out it all, but I know I will. Um, probably when we went to the orphanage, I met like a really, really like sweet girl. Her name is Luce. And it kind of like, she was so passionate about learning English that it made me think like, what am I passionate about? And I couldn't really like give myself an answer, which is kind of like, I know like I have to find that out like later on and may not come to me now, but I'll find it. But that's the one thing that I wanted to like help out with like after this project term. So yeah. Um, I always, every time I go to a village, I wanted to do, I wanted to make sure like I was putting my full attention and I was kind of hard on myself. like. I need to do better and better and better. So um, I think I did a good job of it, but I remember during that time, I was like, come on, you got to like, I was trying to push myself a lot and I should have just like relaxed about it more. That's one thing that keeps on popping into my mind. I definitely think um, I have a new like outlook on the Peru because I didn't, I didn't know much about it going into it. And one of my learning objectives was to you know, fully put myself into the culture and learn about it. And I definitely think I did, especially with uh, walking through the Bayland Market, see how that market set up, talking to Roldan and asking him like, what kind of like stuff did they eat a lot here? And just, I asked Roldan a lot of questions about that, which I think helped me with my learning objective. I think if I was gonna tell someone like who's like next year coming out to this experience, I would have to say like, you don't you can't have a comfort zone here over there like you need to like be open to everything because like if you're not you're just not going to have as much fun or you might have go home with some regrets and you know i think i did a good job like not being too much in my comfort zone because frankly i don't have too big of a comfort zone to begin with so i mean i think in my personally that was okay for me but i know for other people that can be like harder um just make sure, um, that's this cliche, live in the moment, but that's true, no matter like how many times you hear it, it's true. Like, you just gotta, I didn't have too many like worries. Like when I was on there, my mind was like pretty clear. And I think like if I let things get to me, I might've not had the best experience, but I just, um, I feel like I, I can't think of it now because the experience is over and I'm just like reflecting on like it was so good for me. Maybe during the day I would have, like I told you with like the kids, but. Yeah. How did, how did, when you were there, did you feel like it was natural at all? Absolutely. Like, especially Village 2 and on, um, I thought it was like super natural. I, I was a lot more comfortable like just going up and talking to someone, even whether they're adult, teenager, child, doesn't really matter. I was pretty comfortable on the situation.